today we might beat the record for the fastest tutorial. So, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create that animation. It's an extremely easy text and fuzzes that I've used a ton of times. It's gonna be a little bit upgraded, but it's still a pretty cool one, so without further ado, let's get straight into Adobe After Effects. So the first thing we need to do is grab the pen tool and we're gonna create a line. I'm gonna recenter and then we're gonna bump up the stroke width. Then we're gonna create a text, which is gonna be shift. I'm gonna change the font to what? To a fastest probably. Caps look horrible, but if you turn them off, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna recenter, then let's change the color. And as I'm looking at this, I feel like we could bump up the scale. Something like that should do. Or you know what? If we change the first letter to caps, it's looking pretty good. So now with the shape layer selected, I'm gonna actually rename it to line. I'm gonna add rough and edges effect. And here what we need to do is first bump up the border to around 30, 40. Something like that should do. Then we're gonna bump up the complexity and also we're gonna stretch it all the way to 100. So it's already looking pretty cool, but we need to head over to evolution options and alt click random seed. And here I'm gonna type in time asterisk six, then click away and we got a nice animation. So the next thing I would like to do here is open up properties for the line, go to add trim paths, open up the property, keyframe and move that keyframe forward, change it to 0%, then we're gonna select both keyframes, easy ease them, and we're gonna head over to the graph editor and I'm gonna create a mid graph. So basically we're squeezing the peak in the middle. Okay, that should be perfect. And the thing is that we want to reveal the text together with the line. It might look like it's revealing, but it's not. If I toggle transparency grid, you're gonna notice that the text is still there. So for this, what I'm gonna do is duplicate line. I'm gonna hit F4. And here in modes, we're gonna change the track mat in our shift to line two. And that way it's gonna be revealed together with the line. So now as a nice touch, I'm gonna right click the line, go to layer styles, pick inner shadow. We're gonna head over to these properties and we're gonna change the distance to zero and bump up the size. So it's basically kind of working like a vignette. I don't know, for some reason it looks so minimalistic. And then all you need to do is just pre-compose these layers. So I'm gonna quickly do that, call it text, hit enter. And we got a dope animation. We could have used motion blur, but it looks good either way. I just want to see how it would look with the talking head. Let me just scale it down. Just put it under the chin. I'll probably pick a better frame. Okay, that's pretty nice. One more touch is adding our favorite shake. So I'm gonna head over here, vertical, copy and paste. And then that's what we have. This is a pretty dope thing. And remember, you can always hide it just by going here. I'm gonna open up keyframes for these two layers, copy these, paste them here, then right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. And that way it's gonna go back. And if you wanted to go the other way, then you would just delete these keyframes. You could type in start. I'm gonna keyframe start here in the trim paths and here as well. And then we're gonna move forward and I'm gonna change start to 100% in both. And then apply the mid graph. So that'll be it for this short video, hopefully it was helpful and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers guys!